Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to present a lesson in high school physics entitled Lesson 1.1, The Methods of Science. This is the first of a series of lessons that I am going to develop in high school physics. A little background about myself. I am a PhD in mathematical sciences holder, a national board certified teacher, and a retired university professor and high school teacher who used to teach Algebra 1, Algebra 2, College Algebra, Trigonometry, Geometry, Dual Credit Math, Calculus, Physics, and some undergraduate and graduate courses. This lesson is a one class period lesson consisting of five minute bell ringer lesson proper, and classwork. While students are entering the classroom, show this slide on screen. The teacher is advised to meet the students at the door. When the bell rings, click this slide, which reminds students that they have five minutes to complete the bell ringer. While students are doing the bell ringer, the teacher will check their attendance, then distribute the classwork sheets.
At the end of the five-minute period, discuss with students' participation the bell ringer. Lesson 1.1 The Methods of Science By the end of the period, with at least 80% mastery, students will be able to define science and identify its branches, identify in the correct order the steps of the scientific method, apply and recognize steps in a given experiment scenario. What is science? It studies the natural world, it discovers knowledge, it discovers nature's rule about how things work, and it only deals with natural phenomena and natural causes. It excludes supernatural. The branches of science. First, we have life science, which includes biology, microbiology, botany, evolution. This branch deals with living things. The second branch is earth science, which includes geology, meteorology, earth, space, rocks, volcanoes, and weather. And the third branch is physical science, which includes chemistry and physics. It studies matter, energy, gravity, light, sound, and magnetism. Why study physics? Physics is a branch of science that describes the motion and energy of all matter throughout the universe. Physics is often considered to be the most fundamental of all sciences. In order to study biology, chemistry, or any other natural science, one should have a firm understanding of the principles of physics. What do flying birds, automobiles, blue skies, and cellular phones have in common? The answer is, they all involve physics. Physics is a branch of science that describes the motion and energy of all matter throughout the universe. Birds use the difference in air pressures above and below their wings to keep themselves aloft. Automobiles use the principles of mechanics and thermodynamics to transfer stored chemical energy in gasoline to moving energy in rotating Tires. The sky appears blue when sunlight strikes and scatters off nitrogen and oxygen molecules in our atmosphere. Cellular phones use electronic components and the principles of electromagnetic waves to transfer energy from one cellular phone to another. Let's look at the role of physics in all natural sciences. According to the psychologist, sociology is just an applied psychology. The biologist says that psychology is just applied biology, while the chemist says that biology is just applied chemistry. And the physicist says that chemistry is just applied physics. So physics is on top of them all. And to use these natural sciences, we use the mathematics as the tools. Let's look at the scientific. What is the scientific method? The scientific method is a logical and systematic approach or process to problem solving. 
It is an organized way of using evidence to learn about the natural world. We shall take a look, closer look at these steps and the terminology you will need to understand before you start a science project. Here are the steps in the scientific method. First, you develop a question or problem that can be solved through experimentation. Then, you make observations and research your topic of interest. Observations can sometimes be done by using one or more of the five senses. Then, construct hypothesis. This is an educated guess of an answer to the question. Next step is to do the experiment with materials. In order to do the experiment, you have to develop and follow a procedure designed to test the hypothesis. This includes a detailed materials list. After the experiment, you analyze the results and draw conclusions. If the hypothesis is false or partially true, then you have to think or try again. You construct a hypothesis, make an experiment, analyze the results, and or draw conclusion. If the hypothesis is true, then you report the results. An example to the scientific method. Let's say I have a problem. My car won't start. How would I use the scientific method to solve this problem? My problem would be, or question, could be, why won't my car start? And my observation or research step, when I look at the gas tank, it is empty. To construct the hypothesis, if I fill the tank with gas, the car will start. Let's do the experiment and materials. My materials should include cell phone, gas can, money, friend, and his or her car. I will call a friend to bring me to the nearest gas station and buy gas. Returning to my car, then fill the gas, fill the tank with gas. Results? When I turn on the switch, the car starts. Therefore, my conclusion would be, the car starts when I fill the tank with gas. Suppose the car still doesn't start. What will be my other observation or research? When the battery is dead, the car won't start. So, out of this observation or research, you can construct your own hypothesis, then do the experiment, get the results, and then make the conclusion. Now it's your turn. Pick a question below or make your own question and design an experiment. Use the steps of the scientific method to solve your problem. Number one, what is the best material for insulation? Is it wool, leather, etc.? Number two, will human urine repel sharks? Or number three, does the color red make lizards more aggressive? Or number four, will fish grow larger if placed in a larger tank? Or number five, does exercise reduce the risk of heart attack or number six does 
aspirin keep cut flowers fresh longer or you can make your own question and design the experiment if there are no more questions then let the students complete the classwork until the end of the period.